Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today we're gonna figure out what humanity would have looked like if I had a go at evolution through the game Species Artificial Life Real Evolution. This game is all about genetics, all about interfering with the natural selection. So without any further ado, let's dive right into a new world. I'm gonna randomize my seed a couple of times until I find myself and my nursery on a little island. Everything else we're gonna leave to the standard settings for the time being, so we can dive right into it. Alright, here we are in the world of species and we can already see all of these little worms hanging out. Those are the Primum Specium. So this is the creature we start with, we can check it out right here. This is the only creature in existence at the moment and of course it has very little features. So without too much explanation, let's just uh, grab a couple of these guys and actually put them into our nursery. We can grab them with this tool and put them right there. I'm gonna unpause the game, they're gonna flow towards the ground and there we go. They're gonna start a breeding through the means of this rover, which is gonna try to keep them alive. And of course our ultimate goal is to actually mutate their offspring until we get something human-like. This is gonna be quite a process. And we're gonna compare against the evolution that's going on naturally in the world. So right now, of course, not a lot is happening. We can see that here in the clade diagram. This is our species, the major species. It's the only thing in existence at the moment and that's something we want to change. But for that, we want to have a look into our nursery right here and we can see this is going to be the target creature, which is not very distinct from the original creature. So let's go ahead and actually edit this target. And now we have quite a bunch of possibilities, as you can see. So first and foremost, I want to make it maybe double the size as it is right now. And then primary hue, I mean, you can mess around with the skin and every, it, it's kind of crazy. And it all comes with some kind of a genetic code too. Uh, let's maybe swap the skin type. Yeah, look at that. Now it's kind of uh, fuzzy and furry here. I can even zoom it in. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Uh, do we want to go lizard style? Oh my gosh, what do we want? Maybe we're gonna start a little furry. You know, we're gonna try to, to go ape-like and then human-like. I'm not even sure if that's gonna be possible. Let's see, torso rotation. Yeah, that's what I want. I wanna kind of stand upright. <laughs> so it looks as though number one is standing totally upright. Digestive system. Hmm, what does that change? That changes whether or not I'm a carnivore. So if I go down a little bit, yeah, I become a herbivore. Actually, you know, we, we are gonna aim for humans, so we are gonna be an omnivore, of course. Length of pregnancy, oh my gosh. Let's add a limb uh, to the system here, I guess. Oh yeah, those are gonna be our arms. Um, you know, let's not exaggerate too much. We want to add some thickness though. Oh, this is actually a hand. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, we can make hands here. I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller to begin with. Okay, that's not too bad to begin with, right? And then of course we also want some feet, I guess. So limb length. They don't appear where I expected them, but maybe, uh, let me see, maybe they're, ah, that's already, oh, look at that. Now we can actually walk. <laughs> Yeah, that might be better. You know, we need, we need to take this one step at a time. Let's see if we can find some feet, maybe. That would be great. That's probably it, number 13, right? I want to make them a little bit, well, maybe not too small. We want to make the legs a little bit thicker. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're actually doing it. We, we are crap at swimming, though. And we are almost a water breather, so maybe we have to change something about that. Uh, limb uh, 21, what does that mean? What other limbs? Oh my, that's maybe the one I wanted, right? Yeah, we probably don't want, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Let's uh, get rid of the other limbs here. We want to change those, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, oh, look at that. We're getting it. We're getting there. <laughs> oh man, this is terrifying. Really terrifying. Alright, look at that. I think that's not too bad for a first iteration. I don't think you should change too much in one step. You know, it's gonna take a while. Though maybe has neck could be useful. Oh yeah, though we need to make this a little bit thicker and then 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look up. Oh, oh, that's so much better. So much better. We can also change the head type. Maybe we find something uh, more fitting for humans. <laughs> sure. Why not? Sure. But now we are definitely a carnivore. That's not good. That is actually changing stuff tremendously. Look at that. Just changing the type. So we have to find the right type to be a omnivore. For instance, that. I mean, yeah, sure. We can eventually evolve that to something human-like. It's looking like a sloth. A zombie sloth. Well, okay, let's actually uh, save brain. Oh my gosh, there are too many things. Gluttony, laziness. We're very balanced at the moment. Number of features, facial features. Feature type one. Okay, that's a horn or something. Ah, intriguing. I can even make superhumans with antennas and everything. Well, let's save that for the time being. Uh, let's actually see swimming animation. <laughs> Okay, let's generate this bad boy. We are actually doing pretty good with our statistics, I would say. I'm gonna generate that and let me see in the nursery. Yeah, now we are actually going from this creature to this creature. So that seems to be exactly what I want. We're gonna speed up time a little bit and I'm actually also gonna select my creatures and click this button in order to help them mutate a little bit quicker. As we speed things up, we can now also have a look at this diagram and if we are lucky, we can actually see once they start to speciate. Uh, for instance, right now, we got a new minor species and you can already see how it actually transformed. Oh my gosh, this is insane. And we will have all of these steps in between. We can already see some legs here at the back. Maybe eventually we're gonna see them standing up and everything. But right now, we still have a dominant species going on. If I zoom back a little bit, my frames are gonna drop substantially, but we can try to actually also mutate these guys and kind of see what modern nature had in store for them. If we have a look at our creatures at the moment, we can see they already have like the back legs and they have the different skin type, but I can also have a look at their genetics and right here you have their genetic code. Uh, I don't think that's just nonsense. It's actually really their genetic makeup in terms of programming, you know, the game. It's not real genetics. But yeah, let's see how they develop. I'm actually gonna have a look at my diagram again and we can see this is my player species. Look at that. Look at how it evolved already. <gasps> oh, we're actually doing a great job. And here we can see what's going on in the nature. We still have our major species, the first one. And it developed right here a little bit with hair. And here we have some legs. But my species is pretty badass, I would say. Look at that, now they even grew some hair, some more hair. All right, that's actually going much better than I anticipated. Though a lot of the species also go extinct. You can see some of them did not make it. Ah, this was our first attempt to actually stand up. Look at this guy, unfortunately he didn't make it. Maybe it's time for a little bit of decimation. Oh my gosh, I think if I mutate them, a lot of their offsprings are gonna die. So maybe we get some better frames. Oh, look at that! We actually made it! We are standing up! And uh, pretty successfully, I would say, at that. I mean, we are not very fast from the looks of it. Also, we lose a lot of oxygen. We're getting there. We're already closer. Frame rate is a little bit better. We can see what is going on with these guys. Let's actually have a look at them. That's mine. And we have a couple of new species here. Uh, maybe those guys can make it, but I, I don't really see how they hold balance. <laughs> Nothing much happened with my species lately, so maybe they are ready for another dosage of radiation. Let's try. There we go. Mutated. Yeah, stuff is mutating. Oh, oh, there we go. We have a couple of attempts at mutating. Hopefully I'm not gonna lose everything. I don't want them to go extinct. We already got quite a bunch of features. I don't know what this horn is supposed to be. I didn't add that. Or maybe that's gonna be the nose eventually. In the meantime, Mother Nature has invented some arms, but only for the creatures who didn't have legs. So, well, that was a failed attempt. And what's going on here? Someone just bashed their face in. That's not evolution. I'm doing much better. I'm doing much better. Look at my creature. Though I'm actually kind of thinking about changing the skin type. I mean, we are getting crazy with that green furry stuff. 
Not sure if I'm comfortable with that. Uh, but there are quite a bunch of mutation attempts here. A lot of them are going extinct, unfortunately. But I feel like we're already up further, right? That, that, that's a better angle. Just look at the, my tiny feet. Where have my feet gone? I did have larger feet at some point in my evolution. Yeah, look at that. In the meantime, Mother Nature invented sea creatures. And they're pretty bad at it. Look at that. However, uh, there is nothing here. It, it looks as though everything on land has gone extinct and they are now all living in water. So I do have the only land creatures available at the moment. So that's uh, kind of intriguing to me. I'm thinking about actually taking one of those guys and sending them to the outside just to see what's going on. Well, <laughs> I think they just died there. Uh, though we are getting back a couple of sea creatures here. If we probably look at that, they should have multiples here now. Yeah, so one of those guys has made it back onto the land. And in the meantime, my creature is getting up even more, I think. And now we have two horns. And what is this? Oh, this is gonna be very ugly, very ugly. We're, ah, oh man, we're carnivores at the moment. Hopefully that's gonna fix itself. Still, I, I don't feel comfortable with like the skin or the, the fur type. I, I kind of want to change that. That, that might be better. I mean, that, that's more, much more ape-like and human-like, right? So let's change that. So we should see hopefully some offspring with that type of skin soon. Maybe we radiate them a couple of times. Come on. Well, I'm glad they can still move around. They are very, very slow, I have to say. Considering this is 10 times the speed, they move very slowly. Like, can I see that in the attribute? Oh, they're fragile, really slow swim speed, walk speed, effectively sessile. Uh, we have to change something with the leg setup. Maybe we need bigger feet. Ah, we're getting some offspring with the lighter skin tone. They die off immediately, though. <laughs> in the meantime, what is Mother Nature doing? We are right here. Mother Nature is inventing creatures with four legs. Right there, look at that! They finally made it. We have a soul survivor right here. Poor soul. Yeah, just died out. Yeah, but it, it looks as though they are coming along and Mother Nature is totally focusing on sea creatures. Uh, let's maybe help her out a little bit here. Take the radiation. In the meantime, we are still struggling to change our skin type and it's just not working out here. Survivability is really bad from the looks of it. Uh, it looks as though we finally managed to get something done here, though they are complaining about some stuff. Let me actually see. Yeah, we are almost fully carnivore at this point. Herbivore would be much more advantageous so we don't eat each other up, right? So can I maybe change that a little more extreme? Like if I edit the target, we are omnivore, but I want to go more towards herbivore. Uh, we can change the usage of the lungs a little bit. I think that would make sense. So we're gonna change this to about one. And digestive system. Okay, with that we can go a little bit more towards carnivore or herbivore, I mean. Let's do minus 0.5 or can I do like minus 0.3? That's gonna be good. Generate. Now let's see. Oh my gosh, what is this monstrosity? But that's what we have produced. We have now two competing creatures. Let's see which one is gonna survive. Okay, I released a couple more of my guys and they all just died. <laughs> well, this is gonna be quite a challenge to actually bring them back into the wild. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, I just love random stuff. Uh, this actually looks like something nature could have produced at some point. And ah, we have crazy stuff going on in the nature. This is actually really good. My major species is kind of coming along. I still have quite big hands, but my feet are now much more proportional. Oh, 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 look at that. We have a skin color change and oh my gosh, we are more penguin-like now. Walking definitely doesn't improve. <laughs> Okay, these feet might be a little bit too big. Evolution just screws with me at this point. However, we are successfully decreasing our diet. We are now already omnivores once again. So that means we can also get the plants again. And hopefully we're not gonna attack each other as much. 
But we still want to be able to live from the wildlife, you know? We want it all, just like humans. This is looking good. The species variety is going up and... Oh geez, we have a bunch of really funny creatures. And here we are, we are almost fully up right now. Feet are looking good again, hands are a little bit small, we still don't have a neck. It's coming along. For some reason we are now going back to green, which is fine with me as long as we survive and kind of get closer to... My hands are just looking freaking weird. Yeah, I mean, we are already pretty close with the hands, actually. Let me change the hands in this case. That was limb one. We want tip type 13, but maybe we want another limb type. Something that looks more like it belongs to a human. Uh, that could be it. We're getting closer here. Now we are already holding the hands the right way. Yeah, let's go with 17 for the time being. And no, that was... 18. There we go. I'll make them a little bit longer. Okay, now I also want to kind of go upright more. So torso rotation. We bring that up. That actually decreased our speed slightly. Uh, I made my chest a little bit bulkier here. That's also fine. And we want to add some thickness here to our limbs. And maybe also make the hands a little bit larger. Yeah. We now have quite a few major species in nature. The major species usually survive. They have stood the test of time. So I'm glad that's working out. Maybe we help Mother Nature out one more time. Just a tiny little bit. What are we doing in the meantime? We are growing bigger. I'm not sure that that is the purpose here. I want to remain small but efficient. Well, we're getting a large head, which has a capacity for a large brain, I guess. Uh, not getting closer, not getting closer. At least the color matches now. Holy Moses. What is this supposed to be? Yeah, definitely a lot of sea creatures from the looks of it. Uh, this could become a turtle at some point or a chat. <laughs> Guys, it's not, it's not getting better. It's not getting any freaking better. What does it look like? Oh, Jesus. Thank God I did not play a role in evolution. Alright guys, so slowly but surely I'm actually getting there. This is taking me quite a while to actually achieve, but I figured out that we can actually apply radiation in the background in our nursery in order to actually speed up the mutations. So if we want mutations to happen quickly, we need to increase this value and as we get closer to our target, we can decrease it. I mean, I achieved my goal of erection here, so we are a homo erectus. However, we still seem to be a little bit derpy. For instance, I don't think we could particularly survive. Let me actually check that out. I just want to pick some of my guys up and put them into the wild. Let's see how they do. Uh, some are still alive. No, 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 they're all gone now. <laughs> Man, they will probably never make it in the wild. Let's actually see, uh, what are our attributes at the moment? We are omnivore, so we achieved that. Warm-blooded now, and the temperature is also going down. Yeah, everything is a little bit better. Health is just pathetic. Wow, stamina is crazy. Look at that, inexhaustible. Swim speed is really slow, though, and we are dangerous. Cool, I mean, uh, the attributes aren't too bad, but I want to see, can I actually get everyone out of here and just try with another species? I want to see that happen. There we go, released everyone again, and how are they doing? Please, no, they just don't survive long enough. Maybe let's have a look at some of the other creatures. We have those guys. They have gone through quite a bit of evolution. As you can see, we have most of our species extinct at this point. Just the fittest actually survived. It's crazy how much has happened, actually. Also, my species, as you can see, has gone through quite a bunch of variations. I'm not sure how some of the stuff actually came to be, but it, it has been a crazy journey. Let's see what else we have. We have uh, still fish creatures of some sorts. Uh, that is one crazy bastard. Um, yeah, I mean, nature didn't do too well either, I have to say. So I wonder, can I just empty my nursery? Maybe if I pause everything, just grab everything and release it into the wild, then maybe everything is going to go extinct. 
Okay, so now we could theoretically try with this species here. Let's actually try that. I'm just gonna put that in here and see what happens. There we go. Okay, it's already reproducing. That means we can have a look into the nursery. And now we are basically trying the same thing again. So maybe we can actually do this with a little time lapse so we can enjoy this. Let me actually go ahead and bump this value a little bit up. We're gonna go to 65 or so, or maybe just 100. Uh, I don't really care. Let's do 103. And now we should see the evolution happen. So I'm gonna be right back once we are a little bit closer to our target. Okay, I think it's actually a good thing I don't have too much of a hand in evolution, to be honest with you. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be capable of creating the perfect human. Oh well, who would have thought? These buggers though, they are pretty hilarious, I have to say. They die all over the place. However, I brought them down to a good temperature, I would say. They are just dying so quickly. The oxygen, I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, we could uh, actually lower or raise the temperature. At the moment, uh, it's like 18, 19 degrees here. Yeah, maybe let's go to about 20 degrees as a temperature. And we can uh, increase the fertility. No, that's at the max. But we could raise the water level. I'm not sure if I want to do that. We could also build a fence so we could even enclose a bunch of them maybe in a controlled area. So if I did that, for instance, something like that, then we have an enclosed area where I potentially could take some of my guys and put them here. I could also add another rover and then maybe they are capable of surviving a little bit. I mean, they haven't died that quickly yet, right? And they are actually eating the grass. Look at that. There's a miniature guy. That's so funny. And I actually don't have any more creatures in my nursery. And darn it. Well, there are definitely a few things I can still learn about genetics, I would say. If I didn't extinct all of my homebrew creatures, I would actually be pretty proud of myself. But yeah, I think that was enough of a first look into the game. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next video. Bye bye.